Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Smart Learning Lounge. Today you will going to learn how to use paper pile for referencing in Google document. There are few basic steps that need to be followed to link paper pile app with Google document. You can go to the Google workspace marketplace, search paper pile and install. After installation, it will ask you to log into your Google account to give access permission to a particular app. Once that add-on is added into the Google document, then we can add the references. So let us see how to add the references in Google document by using paper pile app. So this is the Google document and I'm planning to add here five references. I have already listed few journals, which is given here. So let us say this document I want to add as an index reference. So I will copy the title of this journal paper which is published in the year 2021. So here, suppose I want to add the document index reference at the end of the first paragraph. So I will go here, extensions, parapile and manage citations. So on right hand side, one window will appear. So here there is option to search the papers by using various techniques like authors, keywords, DOI. So I will add here the title of the paper, which I will going to add as an index reference. So search the paper. There is no need to add the paper anywhere in the database, like other reference softwares, it will directly search from the web sources. So I will click here where I'm interested to add the index reference. I will select the particular paper and I will click on site. So this reference is added. Now let us go to the next reference second paper so this second paper title i will copy so once this title will be copied it is from 2022 so we will go here at the end of the second paragraph i will search the paper here so once the paper is available we will click at a particular place where we supposed to add the index reference and it is added at the end of that particular paragraph let us go to one more additional paper so this is environmental impacts so i will going to search this paper in the paper pile and this paper once we identified we will click at a particular place at the end of the third paragraph and click on site so this paper is added the fourth paper copy the title of the paper which is published in the year 2021 i will click at the end of the second paragraph and I will copy this document title here and place the cursor where you want to add the citation and this citation is added. Now go, let us go to the last paper reference number five. So I will copy the title of the document. The paper is published in the year 2022. Then click on search, search the paper in the paper pile by using the title. Once you identify a paper, click, take a cursor at a particular place, click on the paper and cite. So you will be able to see that these five papers are added. Now let us add the references or bibliography at the end of the text. Now, once I will take the cursor here, you will be able to see that at the end, there is an option given the referencing style that is Chicago. So I will continue with the same style now. I will click here at the bottom update citations and bibliography. So this will update all the references as per Chicago referencing style. So you will able to see that these references are added at the end, at the end. So here, now suppose you are interested to change the citation style. So let us change the citation style. I will select APA, APA citation style. So I will click on update citations and bibliography. So these citations will be updated with a new style that is APA. Both in text and end text citations are updated as per APA style. Now suppose there is a citation style which is not available. So I will click here. There is option to search the citation style. So here let us take chemical engineering progress. So this is one of the journal. So I will select this journal and I will click here, save. 
So here there is an option chemical engineering progress below update citations and bibliograph. So the new citation style is changed from the previous citation style which we use that is APA or before that we use Chicago. Now it is changed to chemical engineering progress journal citation style. You can see here the in-text citations are changed as well as in-text references are also changed. So that's all. It is one of the easiest tool to add the in-text and in-text citations by using the Google documents. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel for the new updates in this area.